Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and today I have got for you five things I wish I knew about minimalism. I've already shared some myths about minimalism, which I can link um, above, but I wanted to share with you five things in particular that I thought were really important and I wish I'd known about them before I started minimalism so that the journey was a little bit more um, personalised and to my liking. The first thing is that there is no right or wrong way to be a minimalist. So you do not have to follow any set rules. The idea is that you're decluttering your things so there are less things in your life, in your home. So it can be whatever you want it to be. It can be that you are minimalizing more in certain areas and not in others. Uh, this is where the kind of rules of minimalism can work to your benefit. So you decide what areas you want to be the most minimalist and which ones you're going to give yourself that little bit of leeway. The second thing that I find is really important about minimalism is to know your why. You need to know your why before you start decluttering because otherwise you're not going to have the motivation to keep going when it gets a little bit tricky and it just means that you're going to be that bit more focused. It will also mean that it ends up being easier to let go of different items as well. If you know your reason why, you know that you've got to do it for a certain reason. It just means that you're going to be much better at letting go of certain things. The third thing is that your old decluttering methods are not going to work. So any way that you have already tried to declutter and organise your space isn't working. This is why you are not able to find things easily or you have too many different things because your current system is not working. So you need to try a new system. This is where you can look at Marie Kondo and the magic of tidying up. I'd highly recommend that. There's also a Netflix series on that and also the home edit if you're looking at organisational uh, tips as well. The fourth thing that I wish I knew was that you don't have to do it all in one go. I kind of did this and I put a lot of pressure on myself by doing it all in one go. It just meant that I wasn't perhaps thorough enough if I'd have done it in small chunks, small different areas, I just definitely would have been a bit more thorough as I went through. So I definitely recommend that you go through each area, small bit at a time. So one bookshelf, one cupboard, one unit. If you try and do too much, it becomes overwhelming. If you do it in small steps as well, it means that you are better at shifting your mindset. So as you go through different sections and you get better at decluttering, your mindset will adapt with that and that's the benefit of minimalism. That's when you think about all your purchases that you make in the future. It just means that you're much more mindful of what you're doing. My fifth and final thought is that it's quality over quantity. So even though you are getting rid of your things, it's not about how many things you have, it's about which items are of quality and of meaning to you. So if you do follow the magic of tidying up, you'll find that you're looking at all the items and whether or not they bring you joy. And that method is a really good way of finding out whether or not it does actually have a purpose for you and it's a quality item. Think about all those things as you're going through because that's gonna make it much easier to let go of things that are perhaps not quality items. You can choose the better versions of things and get rid of the ones that aren't so good which also means that minimalism isn't about being frugal, it is about having quality items. So that means moving forward, that when you purchase things, you won't necessarily be purchasing the cheapest of items, but actually you'll be purchasing quality items, and that's the difference. Those quality items are gonna last you longer, and they're gonna bring more joy to your life as well. Hopefully these five things were helpful to know. I wish you luck on your decluttering journey as you go through your home and you'll be surprised how much you can get rid of and you won't regret anything that you get rid of. That is definitely something that I can say confidently. I've not regretted a single thing that I've got rid of. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe below for more videos on minimalism and my no spend year. Hopefully see you soon. Bye.